G'day, my name's Pat Gallagher. I'm the manager for New Morella Free Range Egg Farm here at Tokau College on the, the northern edge of the college. Our boundary runs pretty much along Weber's Creek down here. And then you've got the beef section starts there. On this farm, we run five sheds. Two of them, uh, 150 metres, about 19,000 birds in each shed. The other three sheds are 120 metres by 15 metres and they, their stocking rate is around about that 15, four, 15,400 birds. But shed five, that's a specifically made for egg farms. It's got the two tier nest box system in it and it's a bit wider than the other sheds. It's about 22 metres wide and we can have uh, 22,000 birds in that shed. Each shed has three range paddocks. Shed two is the only paddock with two range yards and they're uh, just over one hectare per paddock. They run through this way. Pretty much most of the farm runs back to the west uh, with the range paddocks. Um, as you can see, each range paddock has this, the shade shelters in it for the birds. Some have natural shade trees and, and whatnot. Birds are just rotated through those paddocks. They're slashed when required. They've got to be kept short, otherwise the birds struggle to find their way home in the late afternoon. Plus the birds prefer to be able to scratch around and see where they're going. As you can see, they're, they're reasonably happy out here. The birds are let out every day. Each, uh, each shed has eight to nine fans. At the end of the shed, up the front of the shed, has got the cool pads, which they're a cardboard consistency, water runs through them and you shut all the sheds down, all the curtains. The ventilation is sucked through those cardboard, damp cardboard walls and sucked out the end of the shed. So effectively it's just like a big air conditioner runs right through. And that's how the, the cooling system works in the shed, other than days like today where it's about um, 30 degrees you just keep the curtains up and the fans running in the sheds. Our water system behind us, um, the settling tanks, they feed the farm on gravity feed. All right so let's go and have a look in the one of the sheds. I'll show you how the systems work in there. So this is uh, inside the shed, this is shed three. These birds are only uh, 20 weeks old this week and they've just hit or well, very, very close to peak production. Their eggs have just gone to that 55, 60 gram mark. In the shed, uh, you've got four drinker lines and two feed lines. So you'll have two drinker lines this side of the shed uh, this side of the nesting boxes and two drinker lines the other side of the nesting boxes one feed line each side as well the water it's uh, gravity fed in through the the shed down into regulators and fed along the shed and we we regulate that pressure in the water lines on a on a little regulator at the end of the line the birds peck at the drinkers excuse me They just peck at those, you can see the water just drips off. Um, you want those birds to have their head on about a 45 degree angle when they peck that. That helps with um, water loss and, and drips on the ground uh, and whatever else. Um, the feed line comes from the silo out the front, goes into a batch wire at the front of the shed, that weighs the feed and counts how many drops of feed that come through. So we can adjust and see, see what, um, what feed they were eating. Um, the water also has a water meter outside so we can tell what they're, they're drinking. Um, the lighting in the shed, you have two rows of lights down each side and a row of lights down the center. The lights down the center 
are I painted a, a reddy colour and they sort of indicate a sunset or a um, sunrise. So they come on 15 minutes before these lights, they stay on, these lights go out, they stay on for another 15 minutes, then they go out and then it's dark. By that time all these birds will have sorted themselves out and gone up on the slats. These are what we call pop holes. So they, every day at 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, those doors will get open. Birds go out to free range into their paddocks, into the common area. And at eight o'clock at night, or roundabouts, when it starts getting dark, the birds will put themselves away. And it's just a matter of going along and hunting any birds in that are still out, which is not very many, um, and then shutting the doors. We have the ventilation, the cool pads are down that end, and you've got your main fan it's down that end. In the centre of the shed, you've got um, stir fans. Those stir fans just keep the air circulating down through the shed. We adjust the feeders and the drinkers. They're adjusted by winches, and we wind them up and down to suit. So this is the um, nest box system, um, birds go in here to lay, um, lay their eggs, they're on a slant, they're a mat, a um, little bit like um, tennis court carpet, and they go in there, that they're on a, like I said, they're on a slant, so the eggs roll onto a belt down the centre. You can open the boxes at the top just to check, make sure um, Everything's okay in there and the birds are happy um, and they're not too full. That's your, your drinker system there. You've got your perching system as you can see. That the birds perch on at night and they also perch on the, the um, drinkers. I prefer them not to but uh, that's what we've got. And as you can see the nest boxes go right the way down the shed and right up the front. They're in banks. It's about uh, four, four banks and nest boxes in each shed, um, and they're, they're checked uh, twice a day, the nest boxes. Uh, end of the day, they're checked uh, for any eggs that haven't rolled onto the belt, and we, we put them in. And those eggs are conveyed out to the front of the shed onto an anaconda and down to the packing room where they're packed to be trucked away.